hi guys welcome back to my channel so i've been wanting to make a gallery wall above my bed now for a really long time and today we're finally doing it so stay tuned to see how you can transform your wall from this to this So step one of my process in anything that I do is always getting inspiration first so I'm not going blindly into a project. And I feel like especially with gallery walls, there's so many different ways that you can set them up. So I definitely wanted to have an idea in mind before I started. So I actually did have one picture that I was going by because the wall color is the same wall that we have behind our bed. So I was going based off this one and I really like the vibe of the pictures too, it's kind of earthy, had some plants. So what I did, because I didn't want to curate all the images myself, that's just a lot of effort trying to make them all look coherent. I went over to Etsy and they have so many great sets to choose from. They're already picked out for you. They come together as one. I ended up going with this set because it really captured the vibe that I was going for and with international shipping, it ended up being around $50 total. So next, I headed on over to Goodwill because honestly, frames are pretty expensive unless you thrift them. So I found all of these frames and I knew ahead of time that I wanted to mix and match with gold and black. So I actually found all the frames I wanted in one store, which I thought I'd have to go to a bunch of different stores. And they ended up costing $29 and that would average out to be about $4.18 for each frame, which is a great deal for picture frames. All right, so back at it. Now I just needed to remove all those price tags off the frames. A razor just worked way faster than trying to use Goo Gone on all of them. Um, and then I cleaned up with Goo Gone afterwards and sprayed all those frames down so they were ready to go. Now I'm using some of this brown paper I already had. Whatever paper you have, as long as it's big enough to fit your frame size. You're gonna want to trace your frames. And why we're doing this is because you want to kind of get an idea of the layout before you start making holes in your wall. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna put these on the wall to get an idea of where our frames would go. And one of my frames was horizontal, so I made sure to note where the top of each frame was. And if I were to do it again, I would put the tape on the front of the paper and not doing it on the back like you just saw, because yeah, it didn't stick that well. So now I hired my boyfriend's help and we're just gonna place those above our bed, get a feel of what layout we want. This probably took the longest part of the entire project was just trying to figure out what placement would work best. And we were also trying to keep in mind we wanted to spread out the small versus the larger frame sizes just so it didn't look too homogenous. So yeah, as you can see, we had to play around for a while to get that perfect layout. And here I am envisioning even more pictures that I might add to this later on. Yeah, that's exactly why you want to tape on the front. So we did a couple different methods to hang picture frames on the wall. Here, we actually just put a push pin on the back of the frame where the hole should go. And then we pushed that into the wall to get a little mark of where the push pin would go. And then we stuck the push pin into the wall and put the frame on it afterwards. Method two, this is what a lot of people suggest and probably what you're gonna end up doing if you use hooks 
like normal people and not push pins like what we did, but we measured the middle point and how far down the hole was on the picture frame and then we measured that exact same thing on the wall. So then we could easily hang it up in the position that we wanted. But yeah, with the push pins, you'll see we did method one and method three. I feel like that they could only work for push pins as opposed to if you're using command hooks or something like that. So far, we've been hanging most of the pictures in our houses with push pins and we haven't had any issues, so I figured we might as well just keep doing that method. So now the third method, what my boyfriend did was he put the push pin on the back of the frame and then he put it through the hole already. So then when he found the position he wanted for the frame, he stuck it in the wall and the frame was already on the push pin. So it's kind of like method one, except it's already on the hole. So once he pushes it in, it's up, it's ready to go. This actually was the fastest method, and if you are using push pins, I would recommend doing this method just because when we did method one, I personally could not get the picture frames hole on that push pin. I had to have my boyfriend do it for me. I don't know why I'm incompetent or what, but I just can't get the picture frame on a push pin. I don't know why it's so challenging for me, but he does it in like three seconds. And that is what it looks like. So as I said, I might end up adding a couple more pictures. I wanted to add another one with sheet music of my boyfriend and I's favorite song. But yeah, as of right now, this is what it looks like. And I feel like it really added something to the room that it was missing. But yeah, thanks guys so much for watching and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks again and bye.